In Max Matei's upcoming show, he has a work called Structure and Space. It's a photograph of Captain Jack's Wharf that's just behind me. And here is what Max had to say about this work. I have a very vivid recollection of the first time I ever laid eyes on the iconic landmark that is Captain Jack's Wharf in Provincetown. I was immediately intrigued by the asymmetrical design of the hodgepodge of buildings running the length of the pier over the water. They were accentuated by what seemed to be randomly placed windows and doors, along with latches, ropes, chains, and more, all set amongst a variety of stairs, railings, and even pipes located beneath the pier. What should have struck me as architecturally chaotic and skewed actually felt remarkably cohesive, unique, and absolutely charming. I was reminded of Picasso's cubism, Klee and Kandinsky's playfulness, and Rothko's swashes of vibrant colors which adorned the structures here and there. On the day I captured this image, the details could not have been more perfectly aligned. I watched as a cloud bank drifted ever so slowly into the space above the pier and began to saturate and absorb into the muted violet blue, yet still revealing the unlimited ceiling above in the distant horizon, reminiscent of how watercolors are absorbed when applied to the paper. The tide was the ideal level, slightly illuminated by the sky. The surface gently rippled from a lazy breeze overhead. That day's lighting revealed the nuanced coloring of the green paint on the weathered shingles and amplified the many intricate details and colors on and around the cabins, including the open and closed diamond shapes of the door windows, all features that I had wanted to capture. The boxes and assorted shapes were defined by the white trim that threads the entire structure along the pier in a repetitious pattern of design. The components on the wharf share a similar geometry predominantly squares, diamonds, triangles, and rectangles. A buoy painted in primary colors floating in the water was the only circular object in the image, providing a subtle contrast and punctuation. The play of shadows on the sand also lent added interest along with the horizontal, vertical, and haphazard shapes and forms that embody the unconventional architecture on the wharf. All these things I had been waiting for had, on this day, seamlessly come together. I'd finally felt I'd grasped the soul and essence embodied in the structure and space of the iconic Captain Jack's Wharf.